All right, one more video for you guys at Identity. I wanted to address the issue with the stage display not connecting or sometimes not being available. All right, so I've just uh, started up this computer from scratch and I'm going to go to system preferences. So I use the shortcut command spacebar to type everything in. Uh, makes it a little faster for me, but you can find this over in the left-hand menu as well. I'm gonna go to displays and you will notice if I hit arrangement, it only sees two screens. This is our operator screen and our main screen. Uh, the stage display has not showed up yet. The reason is the display link manager is not on. Um, so let me enable this and then I'll explain what's going on here. Display link manager uh, is a, a software piece. You can see our third screen just popped up right here. This is a software uh, uh, piece that enables our Mac minis to display on a third screen. Uh, Mac minis by default can only display to two screens. So this is a software workaround to get our third screen available so that we can have a stage display. If that's not on, you will only get two screens. This confuses ProPresenter, all right? So we've programmed ProPresenter to see three screens, your control screen, main screen, and stage display. Um, so if Display Link Manager is not enabled, ProPresenter will still continue to display as if there are three, but that stage display screen won't go anywhere. Now, if you're already running ProPresenter and then turn the Display Link Manager on, ProPresenter will not see the new third output for that stage display because ProPresenter is designed to always work under any condition in a live environment, which means it won't change when the display link manager is turned on. This in effect would mean if you just turned on an extra display in the middle of a show, um, it wouldn't just automatically reroute the screens because you're, you're in the middle of an event. So you need to close ProPresenter and open it back up for it to see the changes. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna open ProPresenter because it's not open yet. And um, we will check the displays on ProPresenter to see that it's looking at all three screens. Um, and if I go here, I go screens, configure screens, and we'll see the center screen is connected to display one. That is correct. Um, we don't need either of these two. These are for uh, uh, BSF and actually live stream lower third is a, I can delete that. That's from the, the uh, presets I brought in from the back computer. Stage display is connected to display two and we're on our control screen, so we know that screen is working. These preview windows are software screens. We use those over on this right-hand side here. So if I go to preview window vertical, I can go to my stage display layouts and I can choose what goes to my preview window. Um, I like to have it show my main screen and my stage display right there so I can see everything. I hope that helps um, with the troubleshooting. That should really be all you have to go through. Um, please don't go unplug any decimators or SDI cables um, or anything in the video hub in the back room. Um, those things are permanently installed. We don't change them um, at, at all, week to week or anything. And so um, any issues you're having on the Mac Mini really should be software-based and can be fixed pretty quickly. Enable Display Link Manager, close ProPresenter and open it back up and everything should behave just fine. Um, if you have any issues uh, beyond that, most likely it's in this configure screens page and you may need to reassign an output um, if some other troubleshooting has happened before you open Display Link Manager. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.